investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this 11th day of September 9-11. Of course, our thoughts go to the, the, the terrible tragedy with just so many people perished. And at the same time, the bravery of people that, I mean, I, I just, forever, I just keep thinking of, first of all, people that were there not really knowing what was going on. I mean, the whole thing must have been an incredible mystery, right? Um... And at the same time, I just cannot get out of my mind. These are just the most obvious ones, but the firemen going up the staircases when the majority of people were coming down. Uh, I mean, oh, anyway, our thoughts are with, with both, both the, with the deceased, uh, the ones who died. Uh, you know, we have to say unnecessarily, but that's what happened, and it's, it's a tragedy, and still is a tragedy. Thousand fifty-four, thirty-four thousand uh, six thirty-one. So this is what I like to do. I'll do it right now. It's the beginning of the week. We, now it's really the first full week of September. So we're going to be something, seeing something very interesting here, because here comes the challenge: the residual strength. Is the tide going down strong enough? in the daily chart to impact the weekly chart and that goes for all of the key indices and that's what we're going to see this week as far as i'm concerned uh, i've made it as simple as possible using other techniques but let me just go to this and we'll use this oh i had the wrong one that hey, oh, i'll show this i show this to subscribers of my opening call every weekend i have almost like a webinar i do a video about an hour-long video go through all the different aspects of the market, what we're looking at, why. But have a look. This is the triple yield chart, weekly triple yield chart. Look how it's bumping up in this. There was a beautiful cup and then a handle formation. Not one of my favorite formations, only because even when it succeeds, it invariably comes back to the handle. I don't know why people make such a big deal about it. It is just another pattern, and it's not a very – if you get the bottom, that's a fantastic percentage move. But most of the time, you have to wait for the breakout. I use other techniques. Of course, I use the Chapman Wave Falling Axe and many other techniques. But the basic technique says, oh, cup and handle, breakout. Yeah, it's also a breakdown. Invariably, it is. The best pattern you can ever see is the Chapman Wave Cup and Ladle, where it takes out the previous high, the lip on the left side of peak B or C, and that doesn't guarantee you. But it assures you that there's a really good chance that not only are you going to take out the previous high and the overlapping wave if you've got the two things together, but you're going to go to a C and then a D. And then you can come back and test the lip. You don't even have to go back into the cup. All right. With that said, this is suggesting that we've got yet another. Here's your... Let me just do this here so you can see it. Beginning of the week. Take out time. So you've got your cup... And at the, almost the 34.54 level that was way back in 2018, go all the way back down to the 4 or 5 area, percent area. And then you come back again and you take out, you go to 34.72, take it out, make a cup formation with a handle, small little handle, V-shaped pattern. Take it out and almost like a one-to-one -one sine wave. You go up and then back down to the midpoint that I happen to call this green line where I said, don't get too panicky about yields because we've been here many times before. The issue is if yields break out, find a new base of support, and then start the next move up. And that's kind of where we are. We've got to be watching this very closely because you've made look either a, a, um, a double U, a U, and a second U, or a cup formation. Retest, and we've taken out the chat wave inside. Uh, track repellent zone. I'll just do this as one line for the moment. And here it is. You've got your second testing, testing, testing. A number of more times you try to hit this resistance area, the greater the chances are that you go above it. So we've got to watch that. So the, the blue is the cyan five-year uh, T note yield. The brown is the 10-year T and X 
10 years, you know, healed, and the wife covered by both of them. You can see a little bit of sneaking out there at about uh, 4.384. Uh, that's the 30-year T bond yield. So yields are pushing higher, and I think that is making the market nervous. But look at this. This is the housing index. The Phil I can't believe I went through this over the weekend with subscribers. The Philadelphia housing index is still holding so well. Toll Brothers, almost at an all-time high recently, and then pulls back and then goes back to that level. Yes, um, RS, RH, RH Restoration Hardware took a huge tumble. But the builders, BLDR, uh, is the uh, builders, is the in the construction, the manufacturing. Uh, that is holding extremely well. So here we've got Global Timber, timber and Forestry ETF pulling back, making a peak D. I should have colored that in. I, I forgot to do that. Make that whitish gray. Make it gray. Yeah. So that's your peak D pulling back. Maybe a dreaded H pattern, but it's still holding pretty darn well next to the 200 period moving average here. So, so far, all the things I was saying to subscribers over the weekend, all the things you normally anticipate in a market, uh, a kind of a rotational corrective market like this, there's nothing that's normal. Everything is out of, out of the ordinary. And within that context, I've tried to make it as simple as possible. I mustn't make a mistake here. Cl uh, closed workspace. Yep, closed workspace. Yes to all. Save it. Now let's go back to what I was going to look at, which is right here. This is the moving averages that I love to show. So look at this. The reason why I talk about the tide, and, and yes, I'll get back that SND is doing fantastically, and we spoke about it. You got your breakaway, uh, it filled that gap very nice. We'll get to it in a moment. But look at this this is the daily Dow. Look, there's a rally going on, but it's still the nine period moving average is pink. And I spoke about this green moving average forever. I said, I've got signals, other signals that will give me the turn. But the key turn is when this green nine period moving average goes pink. And that says the tide has changed. Yes, it could do that, as we've seen before, for one bar back in April, May of uh, 2022, where the QQQ did that. But look what happens when you turn pink. It stays for a little while. Now it's gone green. It's holding okay. This is a QQQ, 373.92, up $1.34. But it looks to me like the 9 or 14 are getting closer and closer. Remember the dollar. I said the dollar... As long as this time period moving average is acting so well, I can use other techniques to say that we're going to have a, a sell, some kind of a sell signal, just as, as we did with the Dow. Remember the Dow got the sell signal right here, August the 1st, on the very the high of the of the move, the recovery high, and it's pulled back quite a bit since then. But look at this. The uh, dollar, the nine is still rising. The green... And the black 14 period moving average is still rising. The price has come down. Does it do this where yet again it pulls back sharply, goes under the 14 period moving average? Yet that nine period moving average, that's the, the for me, the tool of the last resort is still extremely positive. Look at the EUR, USD, which should be having a little bit of a bounce today. Yeah, it's got a bounce, but look how strong that pink nine period moving is under the black 14 period moving average. Dow's up 78. Up 80, SMB's up 40, Basil Chapman, I'll be right back. We're talking about tidal trends, dating week. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at tfnn.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Uh, while we're doing this, I had some questions, so let me just get to this. There's a stock that we were looking at the other day, Smart Sand Inc. And Smart Sand Inc., integrated sand company and log logistics. You know, all of a sudden, sand has a little uh, a microchip in it. Not really, but anyway, that, that's kind of the way they're trying to treat it. And uh, what do we have? We have it trading at $2.27, up 13 cents. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, that's up 13 cents. That's almost 6%. You see what happens when this? You remember Tommy always likes to talk about the power of low, low numbers and certainly in percentage terms. So what we've got here, I used this, but I'm going to get rid of it because I didn't think it would work, and it didn't work. So what I am looking at here is that we had discussed that the 200-period moving average is like a fulcrum from the high that was made up in the 260 area back in March of last, of this year, of this year, and then the midpoint is round about the two. I'm just eyeing it round about two dollars, let's say, and then it slips down to a dollar forty. So you've got this big bowl formation and a bowl formation is i remember back in 2000 or it was 1999 going into 2000 or maybe 2000 going to 2001 where um where the xau was at about 44 i might be I'm guessing it from 23 years ago whatever it is might be wrong about the number but it was making this thing it gave just a fabulous signal and I was showing to subscribers um, back in 2023, I think it was, that there was this wonderful gold and XAU bowl formation, like a flat bowl, like a, like a, a really a, making slightly lower lows and lower lows and lower lows, and then turns around and makes slightly higher lows and higher lows and higher lows. And then it breaks out, and then... Over the years, I heard expressions, different expressions explaining it because what I, I didn't know the 
terms that I could use, but I always, the way I said is I would love to have a tool that could measure the sideways movement like a compass, put the pin at the bottom, and then just swing it up to the top. I don't know if trade, I don't think Trade Station has that. I wish it did. I think I've, I've asked them before, but I, uh, I, don't, I haven't heard a word. But it would be great. Look, so you take the swing from this left side. You have to identify. This is almost like bar parallel. You remember bar symmetry? And then you measure it to the right. But it doesn't always work that way because you don't always need to know exactly where to take it from on the left side. But what does happen is it makes this fabulous pattern. And as it breaks out, it starts to break out and just leave the kind of rectangle bottom that was made at the at the some some kind of a lip side left side low going to the base of the low and it just leaves that rectangle on it just says goodbye it might come and visit it as support but it's really saying my trajectory is upside so this is smart stand and in the den uh, a2b says hi basil uh wait no he says uh, SAND, a growing player in supply to the U.S. fracking industry. Okay, that's the sand that they were talking about. I, I was, I didn't go into it in detail. Uh, expanding into residential. Oh, it is residential. That's what I thought we'd be going to. Residential and construction, financial improving, Q and Q. Yes, I can see that because money is going in for infrastructure. So this is a play. So I'm going to make a note of it. I think everybody should make a note of it. And thank you so much for bringing it to our attention. I did that, but I didn't actually put down. Um, now it's a little tough because it's in this leg C. It's in the middle of the left side high. I don't know if it's going to go to that high in this particular move. But I wanted to mention that because I think what I try and do in each show is to have something that we can discuss in great detail so people want to do their own homework. So 265 two, uh, was the high back in the 9th of March, 269. So 2.69. I see no reason why it can't get there. Uh, 2.69, I see 39, 39, 33. Um, and with that said, I don't see any reason why it doesn't get there. Now, time time is a big issue. So as I'm looking at it right now, the MACD is strong. The 9 is way over the 14. The price is way over the 9. The stochastic's flat, still flat at 88%. The unbalanced volume is weak, but it's improving. The relative this little gray line is improving tremendously. But we've had this give sell signals before. And we've got some uh, someone in the den who uses the 9 EMA as a signal. I have a, a good friend who used to, years ago, used to hand chart all these things and then he'd print out whatever it was. Now, I mean, hand write on his charts. And then he would have these things printed out. And then he would look at the RSI and he'd have a whole, whole technique that said as the RSI breaks out of changing direction, you can get an up move in proportion to something that he used to measure. So I, I've used the RSI more as a confirming tool. I found as a timing tool, it. I have other timing tools that are way, way better, as we did with the Dow on the August the uh, first high and the Dow using a particular tool. So yeah, I do that. But at the same time, what I am looking at here is this is in play. So the daily has to be the first thing. That's your. That's your speedboat that turns around in a split second. The weekly is the kind of intermediate term. Uh, this, this is the one that takes a little longer before it recognizes that there's a turn. And then the monthly is the one that, that that's the, the super tanker that says, oh, wow, it's going to take me a long time to even make a turn. And that's exactly what's happening here. You've got the weekly already in leg D, way under the previous C failure that was up at the 260 level. Uh, the MACD is good, stochastic is good, uh, stochastic is at 85%, on balance volume is lagging. I'm looking at volume in the daily chart that was increasing on the rallies. That's, that's a good sign. But most importantly, I am. it is looking as if the support level is really what you must consider in this particular instrument. SND is the symbol. And I'd give it all of two, 204 to 186. And that's not bad. I mean, huge percentage decline if it does that. But it's not bad when you're looking at building momentum, upside momentum in a weekly, and that will impact 
the monthly. And the monthly has an unusual, I don't want to take time now, but it has an unusual chart formation. And I'm suspecting we're on the right side of a cup formation. So, yes, I like it very much. Short term, as I say, one, so the two, 206 ish to 180s, that's kind of your key support level. Very short term, 213, maybe it pulls back and then it has one big spike to a D, and then it can take a bit of a breather. Okay, with that said, I hope that helps you. Um, let's see. Gold is to two dollar plus shares for decent profit and hold those from yeah one eighty long term if you've got it at one eighty and that's your long term I, to to my eye I don't think I'd mess with this that long term position that you got at a dollar eighty it could even go down to a dollar sixty as long as the monthly chart keeps closing above I'm going to say above one eighty I think you're you're in good shape okay. Now, another question came up over the weekend. Could I look at MJ? MJ is the uh, alternative harvest ETF cannabis sector. Nice leg C. I almost got, I almost said, okay, let's go for it because the first time there's some news in the pot sector that is really positive, but it's still a trade. I'm not considering this is the big turn yet, but it is at 432 of 38 cents of almost 10%. It's a good move. I'll be right back. Dow is up 125 pesos of 21. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So let me just do a couple of things here. Yeah, I've moved over to the ESZ, the, uh, the, the December contract in the E-mini. So this is very interesting because 
Look at that 200 period moving average. Look how it was uh, resistance support just going through uh, you know, last week, uh, coming up. Uh, then it became support. This is the 10th. That was uh, last night. Look at that. Held, held, held. Then it had a big rally. We went to a peak D in the chapter. We're always looking for Ds because that's uh, the objective is to get to a D. It can go higher, but D is where you want to look for. Pulls back. Nine is still strong. Nine is still strong. Nine. So it goes to an E. And then what happens? Goes pink. Nine period moving average slips negative. And now you're in this digestive phase. So make sure that the 200 period moving average of 45.18, a little later this morning, if it gets tested one more time, that's going to that's gonna start to impact the market. Right now, you've still got buyers coming in on the dips. We'll see what happens. I just needed to ch go through a couple of things here. Uh, where was it? Uh, there was a question. Oh, could uh, th so the MJ leg C 200 period moving average of 3.95. It's trading at 4.29. I would say that this is this is actually a leg A in the weekly chart. Those other A's failed. The dreaded H pattern kept coming down, but that monthly chart just looks so ugly. I mean, this is a stock that was at 35 a year and a half ago, two years ago, and now it's trading <clears throat> in the single digits. It hit two point. 8.3, was it? 2.84. 2.84 on the 25th of August. 2.84. 2.84 on August 24th. 23. Happy birthday, Gabriel, on the 24th. Okay. So what we're looking at here is the weekly charge of leg, leg A. Yes, I think from my standpoint... Um, to have grabbed it three days ago would have been a really nice percentage gain. My suspicion is that with this administration, um, letting loose on different, in different areas, letting loose, maybe that's not the right word, is, is a, a venturing into areas that had been untouched before because of all sorts of things. This might be one that where even politically, any administration right now looking at the political scenario would say, hey, you know, maybe we could do something here. So that's the way I'm looking at it in this particular instance, that politically there's a base being formed. And I think that base now is between 340. It's at 431 right now. It would be between 340 and 322. Just on this, on a, when I say short term, I mean over the next two weeks, because this should filter through different stocks in the category. And since this is one of the most oversold areas, yeah, taking, but you, you, you have to treat it as a trade because anything can happen. Nothing is, is foolproof in this area. So that's the MJ. Uh, FXI was a question. Oh, I never finished all the stuff I want to do. FXI, I've just said, look, We've got, a, we've got enough to do with our American exchange. If you're trading the FXI, uh, the, a couple of people use it using options. I think that's a better way to do it. But if you're trading it, I just think about this. It got repelled at the 200-period moving average. This is the iShares China Large Cap ETF, and it's pulling back. And if you look at the weekly chart, it's basically in a trading band between the 38.2 uh, uh, um, support at about uh, 2860, and the resistance at, uh, it's actually in the, let's call it the, mm, can I do that? Yeah, around about, uh, yeah, seven, uh, 70, uh, 70, 80 percent area uh, in the 30. Okay, so just, just be a little bit careful. Um, now, a couple of things I wanted to do. Oh, and the other thing was, could I look at GDX? Sure, I can look at GDX. So G GDX is the one that gave me the clue because it could not get, it had a 30 round number high about a week and a half ago, could not get to the 200 period moving average. Uh, it's pulled back a little bit, but it was in the 30.20s and it came down sharply. It's just kind of stuck. And look at the pink nine period moving average in the weekly. Look at the black 14 period moving average. It just says, for this to have a really good move, it needs some kind of, it needs a kind of trigger, the torque that powers the move up to make a one-to-one -one from the low that was made in around about 27.10 or something. What was it 27.28? Yeah, 27.28 on the 21st of August. 
to 30 and then pull back and a one to one to the upside. So you would actually have to pierce the 30.30 area to go nicely above the 200 period moving average. Then I'm going to say to you, hey, now I think there's something going on. But at this particular point, as I see it, look, here's the dollar, the XY. Pulling back quite sharply, down 54 ticks at 104.55. That 200-period moving average in the in the daily is very strong. The 200-period moving average in the weekly is good. It's not great, but it's really good. MACD is good. Stochastic's flat at 90%. That's nice. The monthly chart is still horrible. And I said to you, for me to become really bullish, we are actually bullish from 2018 at a 90 on the dollar. We've had huge moves to the upside. We've taken some profits off. I've kept this as a kind of a, an economic barometer for me anyway. As far as I'm concerned, a close above this high that was made the week of the 10th of March 2023, this year, a close, even one close above it would be a guarantee for me to say, the power that we've seen in the daily chart has made the weekly chart, a, turned it into a buy signal. And that just means there should be a leg D to the upside. Doesn't guarantee it, but it says that's the first time that I've got that kind of an inkling even in the H pattern that goes to an M pattern and then breaks and closes, hopefully closes once above that high. Okay, so within this context, you look at the USD JPY, JPY, this is the euro dollar currency pair, uh, a G slash C still in the daily chart. Here we go, look slightly higher highs. 104, oh, I hate reading these because it's so difficult. 104, 147.803, 147.818, 147.874. And now we've got a peak G slash C, which almost always, not always, but almost always, and it usually occurs with an instant restart. We didn't get an instant restart. So this says this is like a brand new uh, a down arrow and an up arrow. This is a buy mode that should go to a D. I don't have that yet. But the daily says there should be, at least in the next couple of days, at least one attempt to sneak in the euro and uh, the USD JPY, that's the yen, uh, above 147.874, even 875 does it, and it'll be a leg D, and that, if it's this week, will continue leg D in the weekly chart. If it's next week, it'll be uh, a leg E, and that monthly chart says this particular pattern invariably goes uh, from the flagpole high of 140, is that nine? Uh, 151.94, Back in 2022, straight down goes peak A, higher highs, higher lows, peak B, higher highs, higher lows, leg C. Very often, it'll get to just under, right on, or just above the previous high, and then pull back. So that's what we're looking at there. The, the yen is still strong. Uh, the EUR, USD, USD, is trying to rally off a low but the technicals are still very weak i'll be right back dollars at 65 giving back a huge chunk of the gain uh s and up 50. the gold report as a precious metal gold is still king it continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, so doing the currencies, uh, I showed you that the euro is very weak, trying to rally. Look, he has the USD. Uh, PLN, this is the Polish Lottie dollar uh, currency pair uh, we had. I think it was Steve from Poland talking about it. Um, yes, it's way above the 200 period moving average. It's had a really big, uh, almost a parabolic move just in the daily chart. In the weekly chart, that's a big move, but I wouldn't call that parabolic. Um, it's starting to stall. It's a 4.32, but the stochastics holding steady at 94. The MACD is good. Price is way over the 200 period moving average at 4.225. The 9 is crossed over the 200 period moving average, and the 9 is above the 14. So that says the whole area. But this was a move that was done on rates. It, uh, this is not a, an international war scene or anything like that. This is just rates. So it says to me that this could also give back quite a bit. It's got a tremendous amount of resistance to the 4.34 area. Um, so at this particular uh, 4.35 area. Um, I, I can see this consolidating a little bit here. How it handles 420 this week, I'll give it the whole week. 420 support is going to be, it goes back again. It's just it's a one time thing. But it looks like it was building steadily and it had the Chapman wave inside. Uh, look, yeah, this is the, here we go. So there's the instant restart right there. So this goes to a brand new peak D, and it did, and it went to an E. So it's getting a little tired, uh, acting pretty well. So that's what I'm looking at. The other one was USD, CAD. I heard, um, there you are. Made a peak F top in the daily chart. I haven't done the weekly. weekly it's in a leg B. But the, the uh, Canadian dollar, US dollar, Canadian dollar pair, it basically is in a sideways range between 1.4400 and 1.32. At this particular point, it's trading 1.358. So this could be a bit of a pullback. But let's just do this on the uh, based on my 914. So what have we got here? We got the US USD CAD USD CAD. There it is. So the, the line is still very strong in the daily. The price is coming back yet again. There's a big differential between the nine period moving average uh, and the 14. So for it to go negative, you'd have to see a price below 134, 135 to 134 in the um, US dollar, Canadian dollar currency pair. 
for that to go negative. Uh, it could happen at any point. Uh, do I have other techniques here that tell me this is something serious? No, I don't because I don't have volume on this. So that's a, that's that's kind of difficult to, to say. But uh, I definitely, this low that was made back on the uh, 1st of September of 1.3448, 1, 1 that's going to be key in the very near term. Looking at the, um, look at this. You've got that's not a dot from my arch formation. That is a price point right there. And this is just saying that the yields, and this is what I think the market is actually starting to say, you know, we hear all this talk about yields are going to come down. Actually, yields are holding towards the high point. And if you look at the TNX, the tenure, if it goes above this high of three days ago of 43.08, it just has to go to 43.09. And that starts a gray leg B. But if it starts to trade above the high that was made on the 22nd of 43.62, that changes the weekly chart. That weekly chart says, you know, I, I kind of, that's an instant restart here on this day. That means at peak D, within three bars, you went to a new high. You can have a parallel count. That'll be F slash B, and it'll be an E extension in the, in the monthly chart. And now it's starting to go towards the upper end. And that's where I, I would say to you that the, now we're talking 10 year, we're not talking about 20 year, but look at this, HGX holding, it's up today, $7.80 at five fifty four seventy. dollars I mean, really, the, all the things that you think that shouldn't happen are happening. Philadelphia Housing Sector Index had an all-time high. Just recently, I should have typed it in a 540, whoops, did I say 540? It should be 575.82. Uh, 575.02 on the 26th. Okay, let's put that in. 575.02. Oh, 208 or something like that. Um, and here we are at 554. 20 points low. It's only 2% lower. And after all the news and everything, and I have an alternate count, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if this is really a peak C. And look at this pattern. This is a different kind of a pen and pen. This is the triangle that comes to a narrow, a pointed close. And what happens in this particular pattern, now if anybody tells you there's a rule to this pattern, I'm going to say to you, ha, ha. I follow this pattern long enough to tell you there is a rule, and the rule is that one of these trend lines is going to be taken out. Great. Anybody could say that. But the rule of thumb is that if it takes out to the upside, then that left side high, this is almost like, um, actually, let me do this way, because this is the way that for subscribers to my opening call and people who have done my workshops, etc., know very well, this is the falling axe formation. A close, a push below Below the two, the 14 period moving average of 5.41 says, uh oh, it's an H pattern. Dreaded H could test the left side low. A break to the, I prefer my patterns because in this particular instance, it's so clear the nine is over the 14. The price is just over the nine. The MACD's weak, stochastics weak. Um, it says that the nine is holding everything up. But there's enough strength in the line, the weekly chart, to say don't dismiss it because it's got tremendous support. Is it 555.08 right now? Five, uh, the green line is right there, and that is 549.32 is 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 great support. Look at the daily. The daily says, what are you talking about? I've already done the arch formation. It held okay. It's a bit of a bounce. Could make another arch formation. This is the housing Philadelphia housing index. Uh, the sector index, I, this should be way down. If interest rates are so debilitating, and I think at some point they are, if you look at the TLT, look at this, the TLT coming down to the 91.85, 92.23. These are the two levels, October 22 and uh, this past month, September, uh, August of 2023. And the H pattern of the monthly chart says, oh, man, I don't know what's going to stop it from retesting that low. So that should be a worry. And yet, look at Toll Brothers. A move. What a move today. I, I said, subscribe. We're not going to short this. Oh, yeah, we would choose one of the weaker ones, maybe BZH. It's it's uh, only up 28 cents today. But you want to go for the weakest in a strong sector if you're going to do any shorting. Um, 
this is so different to anything we're looking at. Look, gold is trying to rally right now. It's up three, almost four dollars. The dollar proportionately, so the gold is down 0.2 percent. Gold is down, uh, the dollar is down almost 0.6 percent. And yet gold is not responding the way it should. So there are no there are no hard and fast rules in this game, at least for the last three, even maybe six months. Things are, things are different. So with that said, I am looking at the dollar digesting gains. Um, I see another bounce in the dollar, whether it makes a new recovery high, I'm not sure. But if the dollar pulls back sharply tomorrow, that's the day that if the S&P, which is trying to gain some strength, if the S&P shows no strength, I have to talk about the tide. I'll be back talking about tides. Tides of man. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back. So we're looking at peak D, peak E in the Chamway Methodology. Look, here it is. Peak D in the one-minute chart. Turns down that it was a peak C1, C2. I used a phantom peak as well, but now it's made a, a, a lower high. And we'll see what happens. And look, he has a peak E in that 10-minute chart. Okay, let's just do a couple of things. I'll do this tomorrow. Um, in my webinar, my last webinar I did, I discussed this, trying to think of chart patterns, trends as ties. I'll talk about that tomorrow. It's a little bit more important to do some other things today. So what I want you to do right now is this. Um, 
I had a, some of the questions that were coming in, and I'll deal with it tomorrow. The question was, Lily is fantastic. Uh, is this a buy? Should, what do I do to get in? Well, I did this on my webinar over the weekend. I said some of these stocks have had such spectacular moves, but within the same industry, some stocks are making highs, all-time highs, and others are failing. It just I went through three stocks in almost every category I could think of, and you've got that happening. Uh, whether it's brokers, it doesn't matter what it is. IBKR is up at highs and, and uh, Schwab is down at the bottom. So Eli Lilly, I, I'll talk about it tomorrow. I said right now the risk reward is it's a great company and great products coming online. How do you get into it? I'll talk about that the way I would look at it. Um, I thought about it a lot because for a long-term portfolio, yes, getting in doesn't matter. You get in at 595 if this thing's going to 800. No, even if it pulls back. But I, I want to be do it as constructive as possible. So let me just do this before we finish. Uh, I want to show you something very interesting here. So SMHs, the question came in. So this morning we missed the SMHs. We are short still from just about the all-time high, two points off the all-time high. But the SOXS, we wanted to buy this morning. That's three times short. We've had the great trades in that before. Missed it by a couple of cents. And one of the reasons is, look at this gap in the SMHs. And I said today should see the S, the nine period moving average cross under the 14. And it's pink. The day's young. Let's see if it holds. This is a problem. This is telling me the market is under your Have a wonderful day.